Hello, good morning. My name is Rob. This is the more comprehensive version of the Dev Console, aka Cheat Stick. Let's go. First things first, how do you open the, the developer console? You go into your game, you do not open any prompts or anything. You blindly, quote unquote, type the word Cheat Stick, C H E A T S T I C K. Nothing will be prompted, nothing will, nothing will activate until you press F1 and this this is your list of commands there are a lot of them there's more than 300 if you have a different language set on your computer and, and you have a different keyboard layout there's a good chance this won't work and you need to fast forward to the end of this video and see how to change your keyboard layout this does work in multiplayer the host will have all commands available the guest will have limited commands available I have not narrowed it down onto which ones do and don't work for a multiplayer however i can tell you that log hack does which is the first one we're going to start with l o g h a c k space on puts a log in your hand and gives you infinite logs so if you're wondering about quarter logs and half logs all you do is pick up a quarter or pick up a half and you will have infinite quarters and infinite halves and infinite three quarters and infinite full logs at your disposal and this does work in multiplayer for both host and guest. You can build to your heart's content, join the Discord, post pictures, because I want to see them all. That's probably the most useful one. The next most useful one that I've already mentioned is Speedy Run. S-P-E-E-D-Y-R-U-N space O-N. There are a few commands that you need to have God Mode on for. You need to turn God Mode on. Otherwise, you will take damage and die, as you've seen in my previous video. God mode is easy. G-O-D, M-O-D-E, on, God mode, on. And I can now run and jump and land and hurt myself without concern. Add all items. And I now have every item in the game, and I am maxed out. For instance, I have 1,000 slug ammo, 1,000 buckshot, 1,000 stun gun, 1,000 9 millimeter. I probably won't run out in my time in my save game. If you have a long command such as add character, ADD, you saw it highlights yellow. If you press tab, it completes it for you. Killer whale. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> there are some hotkeys that come with activating the developer console. F1 obviously gives you your commands, but F2 opens world info which tells you things like your current location, your Cartesian coordinates, your uh, what game version, your frames per second, whether or not you're on a Steam Deck, your current zone, which is JV, moss, bushes, plants, rocks, cliffs. F3 opens another user interface, player stats. Um, I'm uh, race is white, I'm not cold, I'm not freezing, uh, air temperature, shiver animation, wetness, etc. F8 opens a small UI in the top left corner. Kind of tells you what's happening around you. It's not very intuitive, but you press F8 again. This goes with the last one, add characters. These are your characters. Muddy male, muddy female, fat male, Danny, Brandy, Destiny, Andy, uh, Billy, painted male, Crystal, uh, fingers, Mr. Puffy, etc., and so on. So this is very helpful. You could grab a screenshot of this for any time you want to add characters into your game. Uh, that's what I've done on the Google document. Third time you press F8 and it tells you Village 6 has one Crystal, one Carl, one Billy, one Danny. Bunker E, Bunker F, Residential, it tells you what is in each cave. And that's F8. Moving on. For some reason, Virginia has her own command. Add Virginia. Oh yeah, I got Speedy Run on. So uh, you can have multiple Virginias uh, spawn multiple shotguns and just have a full security force. Force rain off stops the rain because I don't want to hear it because it's going to affect my video in a negative way. Hello Virginia. AI animation speed. Basically it speeds up all of the animation. AI and anim speed. Press tab. One is default, but if I change it to 10, hello Calvin. And he might actually be able to keep up with me if I tell him to follow me now. And there he is. 
Oh, and here's my uh, here's my whale, my killer whale. Oh, and there he is. Next on the list, AI dummy D U M M Y on. This freezes all of your enemies. If I add ten heavies, they are frozen in place. AI dummy off. And now they are very fast, and they're <laughs> they're gonna wreck me. <laughs> yep. AI anim speed is one. This puts them to normal, and then AI dummy on freezes them in place. So for content creation, this is perfect to get a screenshot. Look at these guys. Yep. This is a good one. AI ghost player on. This makes you invisible. There's another command in this list called invisible, but it doesn't make you invisible. I haven't quite figured it out. But this one does make you invisible. You'll see I can approach them and they they basically just push me out of the way. They don't know I'm here and I can come up and hit them and beat them. He doesn't know who's hitting him. He doesn't know why. It's, he doesn't know what's happening to him. AI radar on. This tells you what is where and how far it is. So this big guy who's about to hit Calvin, don't hit my boy, get away. So blue, these are fish, the purple. Those are the mutants in the caves and all the green that's like deer and birds and squirrels and then the red is enemies and how far away they are. I'm going to skip ahead to set time of day and we're gonna make it 10 a.m. so it's nice and bright for our video. So I'm going to lock the time of day on and it is 10 11 and it will be 10 11 for the rest of time until I leave the game and come back in and then I will have to freeze time again. 10 a.m. seems to be pretty good visibility. AI show stats on. Anger 95, fear 0, energy 67. Robbie, anger, he is pissed off. 90, <laughs> look at him, 98% pissed off. Uh, 29 energy, 97 fear. So he's running for his life because he just got hurt by uh, these mean big cannibals up here. Heavy male, anger, 85, 85, 35. So if I hit him, he's now 100% angry. I would be angry too if I got hit by an invisible me. This is probably my favorite one. AI, show thoughts on. Muddy female, move to forest. Squirrel, run from enemy. The fish, um, fish don't have thoughts because they don't have feelings. Robbie, dead, not thinking about anything. Over here, muddy female, hiding under the leaves, just, just hanging out. Ouch. <laughs> Move closer to attack. Very cool. This is very fascinating. Um, I'm definitely going to dig into this in a big, big way. AI world stats and AI zone stats is hotkeyed to F8. That's one of the three dialogues you get. Buff stats. If you take a look at my food and my water, it gives you exactly half. So if I was completely depleted of food and water it would give me exactly half but I have God mode on so it doesn't matter if I'm hungry if I'm thirsty or if I get hit it just doesn't matter we went through this in my last video clear brush radius I'm gonna make I'm gonna clear brush radius of 1,000 there's now no brush in between the trees and it looks like a national park which I kind of like a little bit next one is create light you don't have to type on or anything. It just creates a standing light. So if you build a lighthouse, get to the top, spawn 30 or 40 of them, create light. If I select all copy, I can F1, paste, F1, paste, F1, paste. The draw distance on these lights is extremely far. And um, I find that very, very useful. If I built a big tower right here, I could easily light up the top of it and uh, have a proper lighthouse. This is a good one. Creepy Village, 
will spawn a handful of mutants, but it will only spawn those mutants at a village. So you've got your twins and your puffies, your fingers and your creepies. They know I'm here, but they can't find me. Energy hack on gives you full energy. But if you have God mode on, this doesn't matter. Next on the list, free camera on. We went through this already. This is a good way to get some nice screenshots. You can grab a good screenshot of your base. Right click and hold to look around. It's very sensitive. W, A, S, D, Q is down, E is up. And you can now grab a nice screenshot of these mutants. Free camera off to go back to your body. Poor Calvin. Next on the list is go to coordinates. For this purpose, we're gonna go zero, zero, zero. There has to be three numbers. One number is left and right, one is forward and back, and one is up and down. Zero, zero, zero is actually gonna put us dead center in the map under the mountain. So if I say go to coordinates zero, and then the middle number is my elevation, I'll go 1000 and then zero. Spawn me right dead center in the middle of the map above the mountain, which is right here on this little corner. So this little cliff right here is dead center in the map. Actually dead center is somewhere around right there where the spear landed. This is deserving of a base. The next command also transports you and that's go to zone. And it goes from AA, which is in the western corner of the map. Right here, where the Badlands are. Go to zone YY is on the opposite opposing corner, which is the east side of the map. The very center of the map is MM, where we just came from. You give me some time and I will overlay a grid map over this and have an image where you can select certain areas that you want to go to. It's going to take some time though. Next command, it's mentionable. It's called ignite radius and I say 100 meters. It will set everybody on fire within a 100 meter radius, including squirrels. <laughs> I thought it was cool. Next on the list, instant book build on. This is such a good one. Anything that you build with your book will auto complete without needing sticks or rocks or anything. So instant book build will definitely go up there in the top. Next on the list, kill radius 100, kills everything, including Calvin and Virginia. There are two of them that you need to look out for. One of them is called Play Death Cutscene, and the other one is called Play Game Over. They kill you, both of them. <laughs> Don't do it. Another notable one is called Regen Health. G-E-N. Uh, regenerate Health. You don't have to press on or off or anything. It'll just fill your health bar up. No problem. Next on the list is called Remove Dead. So if you're messing around like I just was and I killed 40 muddies, then I could get rid of those bodies. It will also get rid of Kelvins and Virginias and also deer and dead squirrels, etc. So if you're trying to have a celebrity death match between 40 demons and 50 heavy cannibals, then uh, when the fight is over, you can remove the dead bodies and try it again. Next on the list, set current day. Day. 1000 day 1000 this is a good one for me because i've tested how many mutants are in caves when you're on day one versus day 50 i can now go check day 1000 and see if it's tripled or doubled or quadrupled i know this is a lot guys bear with me next show fps on on the top right corner, it'll show you your FPS. I am getting uh, 69, 70, and when I run, I drop to about 60 still, 50, 49 is the lowest I saw there. The next one is for you content creators and, um, and artists. It's called Show UI Off, and it gets rid of all the UI on the screen, which is phenomenal for screenshots. When you're trying to make a good thumbnail, this is a pain in the ass trying to get rid of that UI because it looks terrible, you know, and you can't really cover it up. So 
this is a good one for content creators and just people that care about taking a good screenshot. Next on the list is Super Jump. Um, this is cool. It works. Um, speedy run pretty much gets you up all the hills, but every now and then you'll run into like a cliff that you might have to jump up and you can use this. But with speedy run, you could pretty much go around um, and it's pretty likely almost like 100% guarantee that you're going to end up with this hurt animation. I have not figured out how to turn off fall damage. I, I wish it would go away. All right, we've made it to the very last command that I believe is worthy of checking out and it's called trees cut all. And we went through this in another video, uh, depending on your PC, uh, probably not even depending on your PC. It's just a lot of work for any PC to cut down as many trees as, about to, as we're about to. Um, I have not, and there it is. I have not found a command to regrow trees. I know how to regrow trees. We can go into the save file and do that, and I can make a video on that, but I would like to find a command that does it. I know there's a mod out there that does it, and it may be worth it to get mods. However, I am partial to not downloading third-party applications to run games. It always causes problems for my computer. I just don't like it um, if I don't have to. I won't. If I have to, I will, but if I don't have to, that's even better. This is gonna be really long, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's at an end now. There's a lot to go through, and I still haven't gone through them all, but in my opinion, I have discovered the best of the best of these, and there's probably a few more that I don't quite understand how it works yet. If you got some value out of this, like, subscribe, do all the wonderful things. I appreciate you. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. I've installed a different default keyboard. As you can see, I've got Arabic 101 keyboard, and if I type something here, this is not my language at all. So, we're gonna try Cheat Stick. C-H-E-A-T-S-T-I-C-K. And it did not work. So if it's not working for you, this is highly likely to be the problem. So how are you gonna fix that? So I'll change back to English and I need to go to my search bar and type language, language settings, keyboards, preferred languages. This is adding a language, uh, Arabic, Chad and English. So for you, what you're gonna do is add the language, type US. This is the one you want right here. I already have it installed. Now for me, I ended up with this little icon at the bottom right where I could click and I can change it between my options. So now if you are in Germany, for instance, I think I've heard a few, um, a few people complain that they couldn't do it in Germany. So if you just install this little English keyboard here, switch it to English, head on back to Sons of the Forest and now try it again, C-H-E-A-T-S-T-I-C-K, works fine, works like a charm. Happy hunting, happy building, cheers.